Hi everyone, my name is PJ and I'm a fitness instructor with the City of Vaughan. We're going to do a 40 to 45 minute Pilates class today using uh, a mat and a ball, a small Pilates ball if you have it. And if you don't have it, that's perfectly okay. You can use a throw cushion, a pillow. Uh, in some exercises, you can use a yoga block, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you put it underneath. And at, that, at one point, we will put it underneath your lower back and lie on it. Um, at that point, I would recommend that don't use a yoga block. Otherwise, um, you can use whatever. You, and believe me, you can do all the exercises without the ball if you have nothing to use. Um, so let's just start with a little short warm up. I want you to just march on the spot, lift one knee up at a time. Just lift, keep that core strong. So when you're here, your knees coming up, you're not lowering your upper body down. Good, lift it up, excellent. So while you're doing this, focus on pointing your toe down. So point it down. Point it down, beautiful. For eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two. Let's hold this last one, hold it here. Just see if you can balance. For eight, seven, you're gonna start feeling that quad warm up. If you can stand here, you can grab a wall grab a chair, whatever you need. Let's place it down and switch legs and hold. Pointing that toe down towards the floor. Focusing on your balance. So that's a lot to do as you age. We need to focus on that balance and focus on that supporting leg. That's doing the work right now. Let's place it down, switch legs. We're gonna hold again. This time, we're gonna point and flex that foot. Good. Just point and flex. Good. Let's place that foot down. Switch legs, point and flex. Again, if you need that wall, if you can't find your balance today, that's okay, not every day is the same. Good, point and flex. Just warming up that ankle. Good, place it down. Excellent. So now we're gonna lift again, switching legs. Bring that knee up. From the knee, I want you to slowly, give me a circle. Circling it out, lubricating that joint. Good, let's change directions. Whoops, feeling a little wobbly. Good, place it down and switch legs. Let's bring up the other leg and circle it at the knee. Good, let's change directions. Good, let's place it down. Excellent, shake your legs out. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna just warm up through the waist. So I want you to take your feet a little bit wider, soften at the knees, and we're gonna rotate through the hips. Belly button in, just circle it out. There we go. For five, four, three, two, Give me one more, and let's change directions. Let's go the other way. Good. So you don't really have to do such a big circle. You can do a small circle. If you're very flexible, you're gonna go a little bit more. Good, back to the center, hold. Bring your feet back in. Let's roll those shoulders back. So working with that breath is so important in Pilates. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Let's take those circles forward. Excellent. Good, one more. Excellent. Now, let's slowly rotate that head over to one side. Good, take it back to the center and over to the other side. Again, remember, you're not holding your breath. Work with that breath and switch and switch. So on this last time you switch, you're gonna hold, you're gonna drop your chin down to your chest, sorry, to your shoulder, and lift it up. Let's do it one more time. 
chin down to your shoulder and lift up and then back to the center over to the other side same thing chin down don't lift your shoulder up and lift let's do it again chin down and lift and back to the center good shake it all out we're gonna start some of our exercises standing today so we're gonna place the ball between your inner thighs and we're gonna squeeze the ball keeping your core nice and strong we can bring your hands at at your heart center and we're gonna go into a bit of a squat now when you starting out I don't expect you to go too low but important thing is to keep that chest up so you're gonna go down lift up you're just warming up those legs squat down lift up squat down as you can see your knees are not popping too far forward just squat and lift keep squeezing that ball squat and lift give me four more good and three and two good on this last one you're gonna hold it down so wherever the lowest you can go keeping your chest up looking forward I want to start with squeezing the ball for eight seven six five four three two hold it here now pulse squeeze the ball but pulse your butt up and down for eight seven six five four three two hold it here hold it here good now just hold for eight seven six five four three two and bring it up beautiful work let's take the ball out good you might feel a little soreness in your legs shake it all out and we're gonna take your feet a little bit wider now like you can see my toes are pointing forward I want you to turn that toe and point it outwards bring the ball you're just gonna hold on to it and we're gonna go down into a plie squat and lift up so now all of a sudden you're starting to feel your inner thighs outer thighs your glutes your hamstrings your quads all of your muscle groups are working right now good you're gonna give me six more like that and five exhale as you lift up inhale when you squat down or vice versa whatever works for you last three last two last one we're gonna hold now hold it here go as low as you can let's start squeezing that ball so squeeze and release for eight seven just between your palms six five good four exhale inhale two and one squeeze and hold see if you can pulse your hips down and up for eight seven six five four three two and one like if you don't want to squeeze the ball release the ball but we're gonna stay down here we're gonna lift your heels up if you can both heels up and down and two and down and three good and four and five and six seven and eight good hold it and just hold static hold for last eight seconds seven six five four three two and come up beautiful just bring your feet back in relax good we're gonna go down on the mat all right let's take one knee down and then the other knee I don't want you to plop yourself down but have a seat so once you're seated again if you need a little cushion for your your lower back or your knees at some point you're gonna take a towel and place it underneath roll it if you need to whatever you need we're gonna start with the ball between your inner thighs again and we're gonna just round your spine just getting that back ready for the rest of the workout so we're gonna inhale to lift that chest up 
and then when you exhale you're gonna tuck your tailbone under round your spine good inhale lift up and exhale round your spine good inhale lift up exhale round your spine let's hold this this time really pulling that belly button in towards your spine if you can release your hands good now my shoulders are really rounded I want you to take a minute square out your shoulders good we're gonna hold it at this position and hold squeeze the ball for eight seven six five four three two and one hold it keep squeezing the ball extend your left leg place it down extend your right place it down keep feeling it through that belly alternating your legs inhale and exhale good keep breathing keep alternating good now the next one you're gonna lift up and hold take that left leg if that's the one that's up we're gonna use that thigh to squeeze the ball for eight seven six five four three two one place it down I know you're feeling it but let's just do the right side for eight seven six five four three two and one place it down now we're gonna roll yourself down I'm gonna scooch forward cuz I'm not centered I'm gonna go little by little all the way down to the mat excellent work we're gonna take the ball out and we're gonna lift your bum up and we're gonna slide the ball underneath somewhere between your tailbone and your lower back good so once you find the center you are gonna try to balance on that ball bring both hands on either side of your hips lift one knee up to tabletop other knee up to tabletop and this is wobbly as it is but I want you to see if you can test your balance take one arm up over your chest other arm up over your chest good hold it here now we're just gonna breathe and hold for eight seven six five four three two and one now if you need to put your arms down go ahead and put your arms down we're gonna start with a single toe tap so we're gonna tap and lift tap and lift if you can bring your arms up as you do this this is gonna be challenging so if this is too much and if this is too easy then we're gonna take your just your forearms off so keep your elbows down and you're gonna feel a little bit more now if you're used to this then arms are gonna go over your chest I like to work with this good give me four three two one last one good holding it here now this is gonna be a little bit more challenging so at any point you want to put your foot down go ahead I'm sorry put your arms down go ahead and put your arms down let's extend one leg at a time straight up beautiful flex your feet good we're just gonna do a couple of those point your toes flex your feet now while you're doing this bring your heels together squeeze your inner thighs and toes away now when you point you're gonna bring your toes in so they're gonna be again into a straight line and then then you flex into a Pilates V point into a straight line flex into a Pilates V point into a straight line good let's keep them flexed we're gonna lower your left leg down to as low as you can point and lift we're gonna do about three more here flex and lower point and lift flex and lower this is too difficult put your arms down point and lift flex and lower point and lift hold it here bring your feet back into a Pilates V excellent now we're gonna do the other side right leg flex and lower point and lift I'm starting to feel like 
my balance is getting really challenged. But see how you feel. If you feel like you're gonna fall, hands can go down. Good. For me, turning around and looking at the camera makes me feel a little wobbly. But otherwise, it's pretty okay. All right, holding it here. I'm gonna bring those arms back up. Good, we're gonna use both legs to lower down. We're gonna start into a, it with the Pilates V, flexing your feet, and we're gonna lower down to part way, halfway. Point to your toes, lift up. Flex your feet, lower. Point to your toes, lift up. So with each one, you're gonna try to see if you can go a little bit lower or not, point and lift. Flex and lower, point and lift. Good, give me a couple more, flex and lower. Good, point and lift, I'm almost gonna fall. Try not to be so brave. Good, holding it here. Excellent, so we're gonna start with your left legs. I want you to see if you can bend your right knee. At this point, keep your feet, hands down. So your left leg is relaxed. If this is too difficult, you can put it down. But I find when you put your foot down, this leg doesn't want to straighten out too much. So do what, you, what feels right for you. Point your left toe up to the ceiling. And I want small circles with that leg. But the circles are coming from your hip joint. So we're going around for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, change directions. Eight, seven, six, small circles. Five, four, three, not from the ankle, and hold. Now we're gonna change directions and make a medium sized circle, maybe the size of a good pumpkin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, let's change directions, eight, five, four, three, two, and one. I know that leg is starting to get tired, but I want you to give me one more size of that circle. So I want as large of a circle as you can. We're just gonna do five. So we're gonna go around one, as large as you can, two, three. You're gonna really feel all through that hip joint. Four, one more, and five. We're gonna go in the opposite direction to for five. Four, three, two, give me one more. Excellent. Bend that left leg, you need that break. Pat your left thigh out, whatever you need. Now let's extend the right foot out. Right leg straight up. Try to find that nice extension through that leg. Reach that toe up to the ceiling and make those small circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change directions for eight, seven, six, five. You're still using your core muscles. You're really squeezing it. Good, hold it here. Medium sized circles, change directions for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three. You're gonna start finding that one leg might be a little feeling a little different than the other. Change directions for eight, seven. Medium size, the size of a pumpkin. I know it's too early to think of that, but let's just think about it. Good, last three, two, and one. All right, just five circles, but as big as you can. One. Good, two. This is when you really find yourself getting a little wobbly. Good, four and five. Let's change directions. One, the circle needs to be as big as you can. Good, three, four and five. Beautiful, let's bend your knees. Excellent work, guys. Okay, 
before we take that ball out, I would like to see if you can try one more thing. Good. Extend both legs out. Now we're just gonna do an open and close right here at the top. Open your legs as wide as you can. Drop them to the side. Squeeze your inner thighs as you bring them back together. Open and close. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna add on here. We're gonna open wide, hold it there, circle your legs around bring them together at the bottom now lift your legs back up good let's do that again open wide circle them out together at the bottom bring them up and hold good let's do one more open wide circle and bring it back up good relax for a second we're going to do the opposite direction so now your legs are glued together, lower your legs down. Open wide at the bottom. Circle it out, together at the top. Do it again. Lower, open wide. Circle it out, together at the top. One last time. Good. Let's bend your knees. Excellent work, guys. We're gonna put one foot down, other foot down, See if you can lift your bum up, slide the ball out. Good, give me a little side to side. This is a good time for a little break. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching here. Just rocking your hips side to side. Good. That was a lot of core work, but we're gonna put the ball in between your inner thighs now. And bring your feet so that they're a comfortable distance from your bum. Good, now we're gonna lift up, squeeze the ball, inhale, and exhale, peel your head, neck, and shoulders off. You're looking at the top of your knees while you're squeezing the ball. Inhale when you take it back down, and we're doing it again. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale when you lower down. You're not lifting with your neck. So remember your shoulders and your chest are coming up as well. So exhale, lift up again. Shh. Inhale, lower down. Let's do three more. Exhale, squeeze and lift up. Inhale, lower down. Good, again. Now, if this is too hard, you can put your hands behind your head. Whatever works for you, you gotta keep yourself protected. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Good, one last one. Exhale, lift. Now, this one, we're gonna hold. Hands go on either side. You can keep your feet down or bring your knees up to tabletop and start pumping your arms. Inhale for five and exhale for five. Now, if you need to put one hand behind and go ahead and do that. Exhale for five. Inhale for five. And exhale for five. Good, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, you're still squeezing the ball. Remember that. Inhale. And exhale, just give me three more. Inhale. And exhale. One last, two last ones. Inhale. And exhale. Go one last time and lower yourself down give your head a little side to side lower your feet down if you can good a little bit of a break and we're gonna go into a bridge so sit, keep the ball between your inner thighs squeeze the ball and lift your hips up into a bridge inhale to lower down Exhale to lift up. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to lift up. Keeping your core strong. Inhale, lower down. Good, one last time. Exhale to lift up. Inhale to lower down. 
Good. The next one we're going to lift up and hold. Good. Bring your hands over your chest. Hold it here. Now, we're going to take your left leg straight up in a bridge. We're going to take that right arm over your head. Good. Hold it there for four, three, two, and one. Hand comes back. Lower your left foot down. Good. Extend your right. You're still holding that bridge. Extend your right leg up. Hold. And you take your left arm over your head. Good. As far as it can go. And four, three, two. Hand comes back. Lower your foot down. Lower your hips down. And lower your arms down. Good. Give it a little side to side. Good. We're going to do a combo of a crunch and a bridge. So how it's going to work, so you're going to lift up into a bridge, hold, lower down, and lift up into a crunch. Now, this can be with your hands behind your head. And inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift your hips up into that bridge. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up into a crunch. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up into a bridge. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Couple more to go. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift into a crunch. Inhale, lower down. Last time. Exhale, lift up. And lower down. Exhale, lift up into a crunch. Inhale, take it down. Good. I'm going to take the ball out. And we're going to give your knees a little side to side. Or just put the ball down for a second. We're going to give that glutes a little stretch. So cross your left leg over your right and pull it in. Just pull it in. Good. So you really feel it through the glutes. Good. We're going to switch legs. So uncross. Cross your right over your left. And lift both legs up. Now you can thread your hands through and pull it. But I just want you to relax that upper body and just lift up. You're going to feel it through the hamstrings and your glutes. Good. Lower your foot down. Excellent. Uncross. Good. Hold on to your ball, and we're going to turn it over to one side. Good. We're going to place the ball between your ankles, and we're going to hold it here. So bending at your knees, forearm is directly underneath your shoulder. And from here, we're going to lift up and lower down. Lift up the knee into a clam, lower down. So open and close, work your inner thighs. Now, while you're doing this, try to squeeze on that ball. Open and close. Activating those inner thighs even more. Exhale, open. Inhale, lower. Exhale, open. Good. Four more. Good. And three. And two. Give me one more. Good. So let's hold it here, and we're going to lift your feet off the floor. Do one more set here. Open and close. Keep squeezing that ball. This is a little bit more challenging. Just lift the top knee up and lower it down. So your feet are not resting on the floor. If this is too difficult, keep your feet down. Good. Last four. Four. And three. And two. And one. Lower your feet down. Good. Let's extend your legs straight out. And I'm going to ask if you can go all the way down and lie down. Good. Make sure your feet are flexed. You, the ball is between your ankle. You're slightly squeezing on the ball. And we're going to lift your feet up, lower down. Working on that oblique. Lift up and lower down. Lift up and lower down. Lift up and lower down. Good. You're almost there. Eight. Just kidding. Five. Four. Three. Two. Give me one last one. Hold it here. 
and squeeze that ball for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's pulse it out. We're going to pulse it up and down. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and lower it down. Good work. We're going to roll the ball up to the... Okay, I got to go grab the ball. We're going to lower the ball to the front. Bring your foot on top of the ball. Now, this is going to be just an extra challenge. If this is too much, take the ball out. We're actually working the bottom leg. So I want you to lift and lower. Lift and lower. So work that inner thigh. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Give me another six and five and four and three and two. Give me one last one. This one, I want you to hold it up. Hold it up and pulse. Go one, two, three. The pulse is going upwards. Five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Now, here's a really challenging part. See if you can circle that leg from that hip joint for five, four, three, two, and one. Change directions. Don't place the foot down. Don't place the leg down. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Really felt that inner thigh. Good. Nice work. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to place the ball. We're going to start from the beginning. So place the ball between your ankles. And we're going to come onto the forearm. Make sure your knees are slightly forward, not too much. Abs are on, not chilling right here. Just lift up. Keep your top hand in front. It's going to help you balance. Slightly squeezing on the ball. Lift the top leg up and down. Now the top leg is the leg that was at the bottom. So we did a little inner thigh work on that. You might feel a little bit more on this side than you did on the first side. Good. Last four. And three. Keep squeezing on that ball. Two. And one. Beautiful. Let's lift your heels off. So the ball is between your ankles and your feet are off. We're going to do it again. Do the clam. Beautiful. So you will feel a little bit through that oblique as well. Not so much. Just enough. Good. Last four. And three. And two. Woo! And one. Good. Place that down. We're going to extend your legs straight out. Straight legs. You're going to have your hips stacked one on top of each other. And we're going to lie on this side. Really nice and relaxed. Make sure your hips are stacked one on top of each other. Abs on. We're going to lift and lower. Flexing at the foot, slightly squeezing that ball. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it at the top and give me little pulses for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's squeeze the ball for eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Lower it down. Let's roll the ball if you can. Bring it forward, putting your foot on top. So the top foot is going to rest on it. You can rest your knee too. So if you want to keep it here, you could rest the knee on top of it. It's going to help your hips stay one on top of each other. So whatever works for you, let, we're lifting the bottom leg. So we're going to lift and lower. We're not bending at the knee. Just remember that. Good. And lift. And lift. And lift. Good. Last four. And three. And two. And hold it up and pulse it upwards. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there and let's take it into a circle. Go one, two, three, 
four, inner thighs on fire. Good, changing directions for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower it down. Beautiful. We're gonna turn it over and do a little bit for your glutes and your back, and then we're gonna stretch it out. So, let's come up right here onto all fours. And again, if you need to put a little towel underneath your knees or your wrist, go ahead and do that because uh, we are gonna be on all fours. Now you can also roll up the mat, so whatever works for you. We're right here. Take the ball, place it behind one leg. So we're gonna hold it between your calf and your hamstrings, hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're gonna lift that leg up and lower down. Good, exhale to lift, squeezing the ball, inhale to lower. Just a little bit of uh, work here. Exhale to lower, sorry, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Good, Woo. starting to feel that glute. Excellent, just give me three more. Good, two more. One last one. Hold it at the top when you lift it this time. If you can see, your quad is parallel to the floor. You have a nice 90 degrees at your knees. We're gonna pulse it upwards with your heel for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the ball, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your leg down. We're gonna take the ball out very, very briefly. Keep it close by so it doesn't roll away. I'm gonna try to put it in that little hole. All right, same leg extends out. Good, now we're gonna lift it up and extend the opposite arm out. So I have a problem with this left shoulder. This is as far as my, leg go, my arm goes. So we're gonna just pretend my arm is going a little higher and hold, and hold for five, four, three, two, and lower it down. Excellent work. Give yourself a little side to side, go slightly backwards, and then push it over to the side. Get a stretch in that glute. Good, we're gonna change it up. We're going over to the other side. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see the side that I'm working. We're gonna put it behind your other leg. And we're gonna start out in a nice tabletop position. Hands and knees, lift it up, and lower down. Lift it up, I'm flexing my foot when I lift up. Kinda helps me activate those glute muscles a little bit more. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. <coughs> Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Perfect. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Good. Last four. And three. Good, keeping your core nice and strong. Last one, hold it at the top. Flex your foot and pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and squeeze the ball, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Excellent work, guys. Ball out for a second. Keep it close. I don't want it to roll away, which is not gonna listen to me, but it's okay. We'll get it. Same leg, extend it out and lift it up. Make sure your hips are square and extend your right arm. We're holding and we're breathing. So, because the leg is tired, it's gonna start dropping. I want you to lift it as high as your hip. And five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, good. 
for that little stretch I want you to go halfway into a child's pose good drop your hips to one side and then drop your hips to the other side nice stretch in the glutes when you do it halfway you could if you want go all the way back it's up to you good work guys all right we're gonna take um, your ball just leave it on the side I don't think we're going to use it again for the stretching part. Let's bring your body all the way down. Good. Keep your forearms on either side of your body. So your feet are relaxed. I want you to lift up only the top part of your chest on that exhale. So push into the forearms. Lift it up. Don't strain at your neck. Inhale, lower down. Exhale to lift up. Inhale, lower down. Good, give me one more. Exhale, lift up, hold. Good. We're gonna rotate your head side to side. Good, back to the center. Lower yourself down. Now bring your hands just underneath your shoulders. Peel yourself up into an upward facing dog. Good, holding it here. Now remember, your, your shoulders are not trying to get to your ears. Keep them away. Hold it. Now we're going to drop your left hip down and look over the right shoulder. And come back to the center. Drop your right hip down. Look over your left shoulder. Good. Come back to the center. We're going to come back into a child's pose. So this time... I'm going to say drop your hips as low as you can. Bring your arms on either side of your body. Rest your head down. And just relax. Let those shoulders hang. And breathe through this. Good. You're going to feel that nice stretch through the spine, through the glutes, through your shoulder blades. Good. Let's come on to all fours. You're going to give me a couple of cat cows. So let's scoop your belly in and round that spine to start. And I like to inhale here, but you're welcome to exhale. And I'm going to exhale as I drop now my belly down. Tailbone pushes away, looking forward. You can inhale here if you want. Whatever works for you, as long as we're doing it with that breath. Again, exhale. Oh, sorry, inhale to round your spine and arch your back. Good. Come into a nice tabletop position before you take a seat. Good. While you're seated, we're going to extend one leg out. So when you're here, you could keep that leg completely straight or I mean this leg bent or you can go over so i'm gonna start out right here right now take a nice inhale exhale to reach forward doesn't have to be all the way to the toes i want you to feel the back of your legs so keep your leg heavy press it down into the floor and reach so you're hinging at the waist and just leaning forward come back to the top we're gonna switch legs Good, same thing, toes pointing up, and reach as you exhale. Beautiful. Come back in. We're going to come back into a butterfly position. So feet together, toes up, uh, knees apart. Drop your knees down as far down as it can go. Lifting your chest up, inhale. And exhale now some people like to butterfly you can do that if you wish I like to just hold it good you're gonna keep one leg to the inside we're gonna take that other leg across now this is too difficult for your knees if you have any problems you're gonna straighten out that bottom leg we're gonna inhale to lift the chest exhale to twist to the side of the front leg And switch it up. 
Good work. Let's switch it legs. So we're going to take the top leg at the bottom. Bottom leg at the top. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. Twist. And twist the other way as well. Beautiful. Come back to the center. Now have a seat in whatever position you feel comfortable. If it's cross-legged, if it's straight legs, just find your sits bones and you sit up nice and tall. Good. Arms, hands can just rest on your knees. And we're gonna close your eyes. Take an inhale and exhale out through the mouth. Next couple of breaths, let's just lift the shoulders and drop the back. And do the same thing to bring them forward. Good. Bring your hands to the side. Lift up. We're going to inhale, lift one arm up. And exhale, reach over. Inhale, come back down. Exhale, lower. Good. Let's do the same thing. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach. And bring it back down. Good. Bring your hands on either side. Let's just take a nice inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe and namaste.